So yes, I have been definitely stressed, burning the candle at both ends and, you know, uh, and it's caused me to have a few moments of being short or being quick to be offended or bothered by something or someone that I wouldn't normally be bothered by, you know, example. So I'm not so evasive to all of our listeners, <clears throat> even though I'm struggling with sharing this, but Hey, we're not live right now, <laughs> you know, <laughs> if, if we even post this, but a small example is, uh, okay. So I've never understood road rage to the degree of people that have it. And most people that have it do every time they get in the car, <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? Like they're the common denominator. Cause every time they drive, they seem to find the one motherfucker that can't in it. They give all their power away. Right. And I've never understood that. Have I ever been bothered by someone else's driving? Yes. But I also understand, you know, it's never, I've never understood road rage in the other night. I'm in the car, Josh, with my whole family. I got my wife. Now, first of all, Katie felt like she could even go on a car ride. She ain't been right. out of the house or out of bed in days, and she had a window of time like, put me in the car, let's go on a drive, and it was a right. family member's birthday. And so it's like, well, let's go to the birthday party. Once I get her in there, even if she has some attacks, she'll be sitting in a chair, blah, blah. But we ain't been out in a while, right? So it's already special. <clears throat> and I've got my babies and my kids, and the car is loaded down, and we're getting off the exit. And right when I get off the exit, the dude in front of me last minute decides, oh shit, he wants to get off the exit. We're already on the exit ramp. And then he veers over basically mm -hmm. almost into me. And I'm like, oh, so I hit my brakes so he doesn't hit me to let him go ahead and get in front. But it, right when he got next to me, he too hit his brakes. And so I'm waiting on him to get. And so then I just spud up to go because we can't go down this thing together, <clears throat> right? And so I spot up and then got in front of him. Well, this dude had immediate road rage with me and got behind me, was up on my ass, almost like trying to ram me. Really? And that didn't, yep. And that didn't, still didn't bother me. I'm thinking, you know, he almost wrecked into us. Now, I do have a side of me that's like a mother hen, meaning you could be mean to me. You can say whatever the f It may hurt my feelings, but I'm not ready to fight over it. But if you f with my family, something you could get yeah. a different side. I do have a mother hen and I got, you know, daughters and anyway, right. so now he's going with me and, and I'm still like, Oh geez. And my whole car, everyone knows it, you know, cause he almost wrecked into us. <clears throat> Anyways, he gets around to the side of me and instead of passing, he's slowing down, almost pretending to veer into me again. Well, then he gets in front of me and then hits his brakes so I try and go around. He's blocking me out. So, you know, anyways, we go down the street and he's just going way out of his way to fuck with me from all sides. And now my blood's starting to boil a little bit. And don't you know, we come to a stoplight with a gas station. And while we're sitting there, he pulls into it. Now, immediately, I do have thoughts about people with ra road rage because most of them are Billy Badass in the safety right. of their car. But who are you outside of the, your <laughs> elute, your you think you're safe and that's an illusion. You you don't know who's in the other car. You pick, you fuck with the wrong person. That'd be your last day. I'm already thinking he's lucky. This is me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but he shouldn't do this. And secondly, if you're going to fuck with somebody like that, don't then immediately pull over to give them the opportunity to come meet your ass, you know? Right. But right. that's what he did. Now guys, even though that bothered me, it was, I, the Matt Clemmer that I've always known, would have just kept going. And that's exactly what I did for about fucking two seconds and then decided <laughs> I'm pulling in to have a discussion. <laughs> okay. Right? So now I'm, uh, you know, but I also know just to get out and go straight to fighting mode isn't going to bear any fruit. Right. But you also know when you're already offended, it's hard to occur not to be. But again, I already, I didn't have to pull and follow after him, but part of me wanted him to know whatever I thought I was supposed to, this is a teaching moment for this dude's ass. Now, I don't know who's in this car. He could kill me, right? Yeah. But already when you're upset, you're not making the Dead best matter, decisions, yeah, exactly. you know? Um, let alone, I got my whole family with me, you know? Anyways, since I didn't follow him right in, I did drive on. He probably thought he was cool. And then I decided to drive. And so then I came around. I just pulled right up behind him. 
and I got out the car and first I went to him and I forget because I was seeing red exactly what I said, but something along the lines of, uh, well, he, you know, that he just endangered my whole family, you know, and he said some choice words and basically said, Fuck you and your family. Wow. And I just snapped and now I was ready, you know, to hurt this man. Yeah. Um, but this isn't my normal state of being. Uh, and immediately I pushed him and I got up in his face and I was just ready to, to break this man. And of course he came back in my face and now it's about to be on. And he saw the fire in my eyes and immediately just stopped. Like he didn't want none. Right. He could see, he could see that you were serious. He could see it and immediately wow. like changed his mind and back down. Right. And boys though, I feel like I did hurt this man, but it wasn't with my fist. Like I was right. ready to, but with my words, um, and to the point where it, you know, I could tell, I felt like I, you know, broke his spirit whether I did or not. Cause I can get melodramatic cause I felt bad. Right. He ended up walking over to the car and saying sorry to my whole family. Really? Right. Okay. Oh yeah. And he was like, man, I'm so sorry. Like his tune changed after he realized, like, you know, I told him like, man, I ain't the one, you know what I'm saying? Um, and again, I could tell I hurt him with my words. And after I let in and it broke my heart. And this is probably way melodramatic, but I felt like when I hurt him with my words in that moment, I felt like I hurt the whole world, hmm. you know, sure, sure. and it broke my heart. Um, you know, he said, sorry, I got in the car, drove away. Now we're on the way to the birthday party and I'm shaking. But what scared me, and, and so that's what, I was disappointed in myself because I would normally never do that or be that way. And I realized the level of anger that came out of me and what I was willing to risk. In that moment, I was willing to risk going to jail and everything. And with my family having a front row seat in yeah, that yeah, moment, yeah. it was levels of stupid. And luckily it was someone that I could f***ing take. In that moment, I felt like I could have fought 10 men in one, but this ain't me, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. But, uh, and when I drove away, of course, my family was scared. My daughter witnessed it and was like scared, yeah. you know? Um, and I drove off and immediately had remorse and I went from being angry to having a broken heart with tons of regret, uh, hoping for an opportunity to like uh, somehow make that better, uh, hoping I can run into him again. Now we could, you know, flip on the flip side of, hey, maybe that dude needed that. And maybe you actually saved his life or another family's life, like since he finally got checked. Like maybe, you know, because Katie was like, maybe that's exactly you know, what he needs. Um, yeah, that was kind of the first thing that came to my mind is I'm curious about if Source brought this, you know what I mean? Man. And even so, it still left me a little shook because, I, Josh, I would never do that. Right. And almost vowed to never do that again. Sure, sure. But in that moment was a version of me. Well, it sounds fucking, too like... Yeah. In, sorry to interrupt you. In that moment, it sounds. I wish you could have maybe somebody could have filmed it because, you know, you were there and, and you felt it. But something in your eyes, in your face, in your yeah. demeanor, shut him down. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. that's incredibly powerful. I would be really curious to see that moment. You mm -hmm. know, because you know it's weird how you you're not making rational decisions at this point. Your family's watching. Your wife, who's in the car, who hasn't been able to be in the car. Right. Everything's out the window. Yeah. It's just completely overrode. So, yeah. uh, you know, and I've known you for a while. I, I can't even picture this, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm curious that I would love to see what he saw. <laughs> Maybe, <you know? laughs> I think a lot of people would love to see me pissed. <laughs> right. I don't necessarily want to see it, but man, it yeah. clearly was, especially for him to go to your family and apologize, right? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't ask him to do that. I didn't even want him to do that, but he sure, yeah. couldn't let us leave without doing it. He yeah. ended up fuck. How long ago was this? Uh, last week. So very recently, okay. Yeah, yeah. About when you told and me. so that taught me, Josh. Like, okay, yeah. obviously I'm going through a rough time, and I'm I'm shorter fused than what I ever <coughs> normally would be. That sure. let me know because even my wife was like, "Man, uh, you know, almost like even though she was like, he probably needed that." But right. Matt, you, there's a side of you, you're more angry than what I've ever known you to be, 
You it's know. like that movie, A uh, History of Violence. Did you guys ever see that? Yes. Uh-huh. You should watch it, Matt. Okay. Should I? It, yeah. I like. I okay. Like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some of our listeners might have just decided to finally like me. Like he ain't <laughs> finally. He ain't a whole pussy. After, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, a whole yeah. pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that dude's only part pussy now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Oh wow. shit. I think it's more powerful that you have set a standard for who and what you want to be and then try your best to live by it even when you don't fucking meet that standard all the time mm-hmm. and you take some steps back just the act of acknowledging it and you know the negative self-talk or whatever you want to call it is there that's proof that like you're someone that continues to grow and better and be stay vigilant and attaching yourself to with what you said you want to be and the things you teach you know so like you are your word basically even though you're human so you're gonna up on your word sometimes but you're gonna get right back on and try to achieve it again yeah and you're the one that always says dude there's no and losses you either take a win or you take a lesson yeah. maybe you're just learning a lesson right now i think that's what bothers me is whatever the frustration in, in me whatever and all my beautiful fucking guru and my coach whatever like i it's still there i'm still like uh having a hard time right now almost to where it makes me mad you know and then it turns into boys i'm and disappointed in me <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> this is good shit because like i've seen that spill and i'm like <laughs> yeah for anyone that's not watching us on youtube right now in the middle of my great story i just spilt my one and only coffee too and, about to flip the Matt table and <laughs> just get yeah. loves coffee I, I, I immediately looked at hip and i was like oh shit are we about to see this look <laughs> right. I, 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 I just sit over here nice and quiet <laughs> 